we're eating Dairy Queen and Shannon just made me throw her bread out the window. And she was shocked that I did it. Say hi, Allie. <laughs> Wow, it is day 23 of Vlogmas, everybody. So uh, let's go ahead and grab our 23rd tea and throw it around. Let's see what we've got today. That looks interesting. Looks like it has some flower petals in there. We've got Alpine Punch. Wow, our water is boiling. Let's check out the back, see what Alpine Punch is. I have no idea what to expect. And as always, I have such a hard time with these on the back. My suggestion to you, David's Tea, if you're watching, put them in alphabetical order. <laughs> All right, so let's look. Alpine Punch. So we've got, what is that? Rubos? Coconut rasp, apple pieces, cinnamon, ginger pieces, natural and artificial vanilla flavoring, cardamom, black pepper, rose blossoms, and almond flakes. Hmm. So this is a product of Germany, and it says to steep for four to five minutes, and it has got no caffeine in it. Now, I'm not going to lie. The last tea that I had that had the peppercorn in it, I didn't really like. But we're going to stay positive. It's almost Christmas, and it could be a, an amazing tea without even realizing it. So let's get it made. That is an interesting looking tea or drink. It's not a fruit infusion. And let's see, don't mind the dirty cast iron on the stove. Hubby made dinner last night and he'll take care of his own cast iron. All the stuff that you just saw under my little table right here is for Christmas baking. So let's get this brewed up. Look at that. Very interesting. Four to five minutes. So as this teacup was filling up, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was like, okay, it's day 23. Is it going to overflow? Because we're almost there, everybody. We have almost made it through the entire tea calendar without overflowing it. All right, let me wash this out. All right, everybody, we are here for tree number 23. That's right, only one more tree to go after this one. So this tree you may have caught a glimpse of when I did its other partner in crime. Right here, we've got two beautiful thrift store trees sitting right here looking all fancy dancy with berries and everything and if you see ornaments hanging together like these two it's because the dogs run by these and they keep knocking them off so when you're decorating your trees think about where they are best this tree right here that you guys already saw had the berries and gold and that was it this tree i went ahead and brought in some burgundy along with the dark burgundy purple berries and some gold and stuff <laughs> so we've got these beautiful berries these berries really are quite beautiful they are just from the dollar tree but i got them really early in the season Right now, though, I am going to do my sugary shenanigans collab. We are going to be making some yummy cookies, so stay tuned to see what I make. Hello, everyone. Marlene, a.k.a. Snow Gardener 307. We are here to do some peppermint white chocolate sugar cookies. They are so yummy, and they're so beautiful to serve to friends and families. So today, I am going to go ahead and make a single batch. I was going to make a double batch, but it is just a little bit too late. I just got off of work, and it's just about 8 p.m. the night before you're watching this because I do work on the 23rd so this is pre-filmed for you guys so what i have in here i am going to give you guys the recipe but don't worry the link will be down below so i have two and three quarters cups of flour and i've just got this in here 
Then I have got one teaspoon of baking soda and also one half teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. Then we're gonna go ahead and do some cream of tartar. Don't skip this step right here. I know a lot of people leave it out. I swear it's what makes my sugar cookies so amazing. So I've got one half teaspoon of cream of tartar. So we're gonna go ahead and just whisk these or mix these together. This is going to be our dry ingredients. And then we're gonna start on our wet ingredients. Just like that, we'll just set this off to the side. I am actually going to make a double batch of these, but right now I only have time to make one batch because it is so late. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a single batch. And then on my day off, I will go ahead and make another batch for my hubby. So I'm gonna go ahead and move in my mixer right here. And for anybody that hasn't watched me bake before, yes, I do have a purple KitchenAid, which I absolutely love. Bridger bought this for me and it is so much fun. So purple KitchenAid, and I just saw that my hubby texted me and he's at the store, so I gotta check. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, so let's go ahead and make the cookies. I have got my mixer with the paddle attachment. I'm trying to get the lighting better, but I am doing this at eight o'clock at night, so I guess it is what it is. So I have got one cup, aka two sticks of softened butter. I probably did not soften this enough. My hubby took it out of the fridge for me, and then I softened it a little bit in a warm oven, but it's probably not softened enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this before I stir the sugar in. One cup of unsalted butter, then to that, we're gonna go ahead and add in one and a half cups sugar. Let me go ahead and mix the butter up first to see how soft it is, and then we'll be right back. not ideal my butter was not quite soft enough and hopefully it is going to mix up it looks like it mixed with the sugar okay but not amazing and so I'm just gonna scrape down the sides of this bowl and you guys know that I had to use my fun peppermint stripe spatula so let's mix this some more then once I mix it I am going to add a whole egg an egg yolk and I'm gonna do those separate then I'm gonna go ahead and add some peppermint extract it smells so good in here you guys and some pure vanilla extract so let's get mixing Keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree 
Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Christmas. Since July, I've been happier than I have ever been. It's safe to say that my love for you is true. Tomorrow is. Are the cookies they have been sitting on the cookie sheet for probably three maybe four minutes I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them onto the cooling sheet you'll notice that they still look like they're pretty white you don't see any dark and they almost look underdone that is what you want and you want to transfer them and I am using a stone and for anybody that has not used stoneware before stoneware heats very evenly but it does keep cooking because it stays hot longer. So I wanna make sure that I get my cookies off so they don't continue to bake. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the next batch. So we are gonna go ahead and put some new cookies. These are coming out of the fridge, so they're still nice and cool. It's for more cookies on to the cooling wrap. So nerpy derpy spoink, boink, boink, boink. Nerpy derpy spurk. Boink, boink, boink. I broke that one. So sad. And here we are with the last five cookies. So we did, in fact, have 29 cookies. Look at how beautiful these look. We are going to let these cool. I'm going to go film a video for my other channel that has to do with transferring money and saving money. So if you haven't checked out my other channel, make sure you go check out Stone Gardener 307 Budgets. And we'll be back to do some dipping in white chocolate and peppermint. Our cookies are baked and cooled. Now we're going to go ahead and get ready to dip them as well as get our candy cane pieces ready. I have taken a few candy canes. I think, I don't know, five or six. I didn't count them. I unwrapped them and I'm going to go ahead and double bag them. So I've got them here and they're kind of broken already. I've got my nice heavy meat tenderizer and I am just going to crush these. to take them out and put them into a bowl to make it easy to access. 
Now, remember, I'm only doing a single batch here, and it's okay if those aren't perfect. If you have family members that like candy canes better than others, they might like the bigger chunks, while some that don't may like the smaller pieces. Now, I could have put this into a food processor and blended it down and nice and neat, but it's getting late, you guys, and I didn't want to. So, we have got those. Now, we're going to go ahead and get our chocolate. We are going to use some shortening today, and we are going to use some white chocolate morsels. We are going to go ahead and do two and a half tablespoons of shortening. And this is to keep our chocolate soft a little bit longer, but don't worry, it will still set up just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out two and a half tablespoons using this measuring cup, which I don't know how I lived without it. And for my friend Alicia, she knows how handy these are. She just used this when she was making one of her recipes. I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was her recipe for a brown sugar. How many of you guys have ever made brown sugar? Maybe I'm the only one that didn't know you could make your own brown sugar. It was just so eye-opening for me. So we have got two and a half tablespoons. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that, set this off to the side and out of the way, and then we need two and a half cups of white chocolate chips. I forget, what do they say? How many cups are in this bag? Dun, dun, dun. Two cups, I don't know. Let's see how many are in this bag, don't worry. I've got more. White chocolate is my hubby's favorite, so I tend to keep quite a few of these around. Let me get a half cup. So we want two and a half cups. So we've got one half, one cup, Two cups. I'm sorry, one and a half. It looks like it's only two cups. So you know what we're gonna do? This is how I roll. I think normally I double it so I don't pay attention. We are gonna take out a little bit of this shortening. And I don't know how much I'm gonna take out. I'm just gonna grab a little blob of it. And we're gonna take that out because I don't want to open up another bag when I'm not ready to double it and it is 10.30 at night. So we're gonna roll with this. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the microwave and we will do these in intervals of, you know, it says in the directions 50% power, 20 second intervals. I'm much too lazy to do that. <laughs> so I will be doing it at a regular interval and I will just be watching it. So let's go to the microwave. I have got my white chocolate. You can see it still looks like there's some chocolate chips in there. This to me means that I have done it just right. That means I haven't overdone it. You guys can see as I stir it that those chunks of white chocolate chips are disappearing. You gotta love that. We're gonna go ahead and get a little spatula. And of course it's Christmas time, so we're gonna use our Merry Christmas one. Get rid of this wooden spoon. We do not need it anymore. And we've got our white chocolate. Now for anybody that has dipped before, easy, easy peasy. We are only dipping half of our cookie. So we're gonna take half of our cookie or so, we're gonna scrape it on the bottom, we're gonna set it on our parchment, and we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of peppermint on there. That's right, everybody, uh, that's all I'm doing. Now, say you have somebody that's not a big peppermint fan, right? Your cookies have a little bit of peppermint, but they're not overwhelming, so guess what? Do something like this. Maybe do a little red sugar, right? Like that, or just leave it plain. I also like the idea of having some little Christmas sprinkles. If I can get some sprinkles on there. We've got two things coming out. That was interesting, and that's not what I meant to happen, but that's what the cookie looks like. So let's go ahead and get these dipped. The snow is falling down I've been longing for this Christmas When everyone's around To share this holiday Yes, it's a time of happiness A time of joy But now this year is quite so special Cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love In this winter wonderland as I'm trying to get your attention Giving you a smile I can seem to look away I might be crazy But I think you feel it too Like a vibration right between us With a beautiful two Could we fall in love? I'm going to go ahead
ahead and leave a few of these undipped. I'm going to leave four of them undipped because undipped are actually one of my favorites. I'm not a huge white chocolate friend. If you are a chocolate fan, go ahead and do some regular chocolate on here. Anything you want to do with sugar cookies. Now, I can tell you for this recipe, I have never tried to roll them out and shape them. So I'm not sure if this recipe would be good for that. But for me, I like this because oh, look at how simple that was. Oh, look at how beautiful these cookies are. And these are going to be so delicious. Now, I do have a little bit of white chocolate left over. And... That's quite unusual for me, probably because some of these, they don't have the back of them done. But if you look, that's not much left considering I have five cookies I didn't dip. And let's see, nope, that one had quite a bit. I need to not touch them because they will set up and they will harden. So we've got a little bit of white chocolate. If you wanted, for example, if I wanted, I could take this and just drizzle a little bit more over the top. You can do whatever you want with these. Remember, they are yours. So I'm going to go ahead and try one that's not dipped and let you guys know how yummy it is. Okay, everybody, I've got an undipped cookie. These have got just a faint taste of peppermint in them. So oh, let me see. Mm. These are so delicious. So soft and chewy. Now, when I go ahead and set these up, I will use containers and I will put parchment in between. So the parchment that these are laying on right now to be dipped on, I will go ahead and use those to store them. And these can be stored on the counter or in the refrigerator. And let me see what the recipe says. Let's see what the recipe says. Cause you know, you just do stuff. And then it says transfer to wax paper, Allow to set at room temperature or in refrigerator. Store in an airtight container at room temperature. I can tell you this. When I have done Christmas baking before, I have went ahead and put them in the refrigerator. Because some years I baked, I don't know, 15 different kinds of cookies and yumminess. And it takes me a while to do it. So you don't want them to get stale. The good news is, right now, tonight, it's the 22nd. Of course, you guys are seeing this on the 23rd. That means these are going to family on the 25th and not tomorrow, but on Friday, I'm going to go ahead and make another batch and I'm going to do some pumpkin rolls along with, oh, I got my list. Oh, that's right. Remember the video that you guys saw that Julia and I made the people? Con pie cookies. We're going to do those again. And I am going to do those Muddy Buddies, even though some of you guys are teasing me saying, sure, the checks Mix is for Muddy Buddies. It is, I swear. And I might, like I told some of you guys, I think I told you guys, unless it was a conversation with myself, I am going to go ahead and do some rice crispy things, but with checks instead and use up marshmallows that I've got. I've got plenty of butter. So we're going to come up with something fun. Mmm. It's Happy Mail. It's Happy Mail. We are just going to do Happy Mail right here on the counter because this is where we're at and I'm not moving to set up. So hopefully you guys can see okay. First of all, I have got a package from Michaels. If you guys watched my Happy Mail video before where I showed you the Michaels that I got that was wrong, I am hopeful that this is the reship of the item that I ordered and it sure does look like it. And uh, this is super cute, and I'm glad they resent it for me. So this is what I originally ordered, a little mason jar, and there were two different versions. You can see that there is a little bit of metal here. It does have a hanging hook here if you want to hang it up, and uh, this will go great along with some of the decor I have right here in my kitchen. Then we have got some Christmas cards, and so this is from my friend Tasha at Tasha Loves Life. And oh, look at how cute this is. Dream big, so lovely, and some hearts. And so uh, let's go ahead and open this up and see what the card looks like. Oh, I love Christmas cards, you guys. Absolutely love them. So wishing you a Merry Christmas. It's got some glitter on there, and you guys know I love glitter. Awesome. And Tasha says, keep being real. And so on the inside, it says, 
Wishing you a Merry Christmas and happiness to last throughout the coming year. Thank you so much, Tasha. And then I've got a card from my friend from high school. We went to high school together. We worked at the same place all through high school. She is a military person. She is military personnel and has been for years. And her hubby is ex-military as well. Oh, I love this. They've got so many different pictures on here. And it says, wishing you a merry holiday season. May it be filled with lots of joy, travel, and laughter. Love the Wilkerson family. Wesley, Corey, Wooby, and Reveille. And Wooby and Reveille are their dogs. So look at these adventures these guys have. They are absolutely amazing. There is all kinds of pictures on the back as well. Love, 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 love. And then we have a card from my friend Janice. I love getting Christmas cards from all over the world. So let's take a look at Janice's card. And so Winnipeg. And I just like looking to see how much it costs to mail stuff. And so it looks like it's $1.30 there. Or I don't know what her currency is there. Oh, it's a picture of her and her family and her birds. I watched her YouTube video where she went ahead and got the birds all set. So that is Janice and her family. And she did include a letter as well. I am not going to read that out loud. So that is a private thing. Thank you so much, Janice. And then I have got a card from my friend Wendy. So let's take a look. And these are YouTube friends as well. Let me open up this card. And this is coming from Georgia. Let's see if I can open the card. Some days the struggle is real, you guys. Let's take a look. How cute is that? Merry, Merry Christmas. So very cute. Awesome. Hope you and your family have a wonderful holiday and a new year. So we've got four new cards to add to all of our Christmas cards. I have so many, you guys, that I don't have them all up because I couldn't get them all up. So if they have not received a Christmas card from me, then they will be very shortly. Now the good news and the exciting news is I've got this box right here. This box is from my friend and my viewer, Joanna, she has supported me for as long as I can remember. So thank you, Joanna. I have not opened it yet, but I am so excited to see what you've sent. And I'm not showing you guys the top of the box because it does have Joanna's address on it. And of course, I don't want to inadvertently show anybody's address. So let me get this opened up. You guys know I'm not the best at opening boxes sometimes. So let's see what is in this Happy Mail. So excited you guys spoil me and you know I know not everybody sends gifts and I appreciate those that do and those that don't I understand I love getting cards I love seeing comments and oh my gosh I don't know if there's something in here or if this is just packing okay just packing that's okay I always am afraid so we've got some of those in the top this package is packaged beautifully Let's see. I've got a little card. Oh, I love the sticker on the back. It says, no bad days. And it says, Marlene. And it's got the Eiffel Tower on the front. And there is a sweet little note here. And we've got to see what Joanna found. I am not going to read this letter because it is a private note from her. So uh, let's take a look. Oh, she got me some erasable color sticks. Absolutely love my erasable pens. So thank you, Joanna. And I know you guys are going to be shocked about this. Oh my gosh. Oh, he is so cute. I've never seen a gnome like him. Yes, it's a gnome, everybody. He is pretty big though. So I'm going to have to like move the camera so you guys can see. So uh, let me set him up. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh yeah, so cute. So very cute. Joanna, I know you guys can see his feet. He is so cute. So very, very cute. I love him. 
He is a Ray Dunn gnome, which some of my coworkers, we have an inside joke going for that. So let me take you guys off of the stand here, show you this gnome. Let me get that up out of the way. Take a look at him. Isn't he just the cutest thing ever? And he says, choose kindness and he's all beautiful and rainbowy and he is he does have some he's heavy right so he'll stay sitting up and look at his hat how cute is that thank you so much joanna i appreciate it more than you know and to each and every one of you i want to remind you to choose kindness and keep on smiling bye everybody mm -hmm.